Hello and welcome to F1 Livery Histories, the channel where we take a look back at the different paint jobs, racing trims and sponsor decals adopted by respective Formula 1 teams throughout the eras. Today we'll be taking a look at a team which regularly defied the odds during their time in Formula 1 and showed to the world just how successful a smaller independent team could become in the sport's modern era, Jordan Grand Prix. The team was founded in 1980 by Irishman Eddie Jordan as Eddie Jordan Racing, initially competing in lower racing categories, such as Formula 3 and F3000. The team's first major success resulted in 1987, when an upcoming Johnny Herbert became British Formula 3 champion. In 1989, the team claimed championship glories in multiple categories, with John Lacey, Andrew Gilbert Scott and Ricard Rydell. In 1990, Eddie Jordan turned his attention to Formula 1 and made a play to buy Team Lotus. However, these plans never materialised, and so Jordan decided to transition his own team into the top flight. The team was renamed Jordan Grand Prix, and produced and tested their introductory Formula 1 chassis during the winter months of 1990. So begins our retrospective on a team fondly remembered for its colourful and imaginative team liveries. Upon the commencement of the 1991 season, the new Jordan team revealed its striking visual identity in the form of the team's first car, the 191, which was painted in bottle green. The team's primary colour was a tip towards the team's Irish roots, and featured promotion from the Irish Tourism Office. Jordan also introduced to the Formula 1 grid American soft drink giants Pepsi, which promoted its 7UP brand. 7UP was seen prominently on the car's engine case and nose cone, whilst the team's secondary sponsor, Japanese camera company Fuji, mainly took up space in the rear wing. Along with this unique shade of green, blue and light green were also employed as offset colours. Delivery also carried an array of smaller sponsors, such as Osama, Denim, Brooksfield, Shuai, Tic Tac, Ismaban, and Usen 440, while 7UP's parent company chose to display their own branding at select races during the season. The Gary Anderson-designed Ford-powered 191 chassis ran as smoothly as it looked, powering the team to fifth position in the constructors' standings in their maiden Grand Prix season. The 1991 campaign proved to be a resounding success for the new team. However, come season's end, the team had to deal with Pepsi withdrawing from the sport, which brought an end to a brief but memorable partnership. Following the loss of Pepsi and 7UP, Jordan found itself on precarious financial grounds. Sasol had stepped in to become the team's title sponsor and official fuel supplier, which saw the 192 chassis assume the light and dark blue company colours of the South African oil company. For 1992, the team made the switch to Yamaha, which provided the team with its engines on a gratuity basis. Philips had also signed as sponsors for 92, a deal which saw the colour red introduced to the team livery. Italian mineral water brand Olivetto was seen on the front wing, along with Unipart on the nose cone, whilst the side pods were devoted to cigarette brand Barclay, adding the colours of cream and burgundy to the car. This broad mixture of sponsors and colour schemes made for a rather radical team livery, which once again stood Jordan apart from the rest of the grid. In 1993, Diavia, Arisco and Para all joined as team sponsors as the team ran with a slightly altered version of their multicoloured team livery for the heart-powered 193. At races where tobacco advertising was banned, Barclay was replaced with the driver's surname. In 1994, the team reintroduced Irish green to its livery, which was seen amongst the vast rainbow of Jordan team colours. At the 1994 French Grand Prix, Visit Ireland was replaced with Ireland 1, Italy 0, a reference to Ireland's World Cup win over the Azzurri. Eddie Jordan's team was once again on the up, however more changes awaited the team in 1995. Jordan ceased their partnership with Sassol, which led Jordan to acquire Total as their new fuel supplier, along with a new engine partner in Peugeot. The team's new livery featured Peugeot's racing colours of red, blue, yellow and white, which came together with Jordan's traditional green. Beta Tools, Vaporetto and Pulte were also featured on the 195 in a minor capacity. By the end of 1995, the team's search for a new title sponsor was over as they landed a deal with British American Tobacco, which was set to commence the following season.
The 1996 season heralded the beginning of Jordan's famous partnership with cigarette brand Benson & Hedges. The new 196 chassis came painted in the iconic gold of their title sponsor, with Benson & Hedges branding displayed prominently on the car's engine case, wings, and side pods. Engine supplies Peugeot remained on the car, seen on the engine case and rear wing, joined once again by Total, which added their touch of red to the car's airbox. Along with the team's major partners, Jordan also secured deals with various new sponsors, such as Corona and GDS Capital. However, the gold livery made the sponsors' names difficult to distinguish on television, and so the team went ahead with a radical and inventive overhaul for season 1997. The new livery replaced its main colour of gold with an ultra-luminous canary yellow, a colour which would become closely associated with the team throughout the remainder of its Formula 1 tenure. Alongside Benson and Hedges, the team picked up Mastercard and Escalibur as team sponsors. The most remarkable feature of the 1997 livery was the introduction of an animal theme, which first came in the form of a deadly python with its fangs extended and its bright red tongue which flailed along the chassis. The black portions of the livery were stylized as scaly snakeskin, and in countries that disallowed tobacco adverts, Benson and Hedges became bitten and hisses. Upon the sides of the front wing, the team's nose cone artist, S. Oliver, was credited. All in all, Jordan's bright new motif was a very busy yet well-balanced livery, and underlined Jordan's effervescent attitude to racing. Oliver's artwork would again feature on the bodywork of the Muon Honda-powered 198 chassis, this time in the form of a dangerous hornet with bulging red eyes. The rear of the car featured hornet stripes, as well as a stinger just above the car's rear axle. At races where tobacco advertising was banned, the cars were labelled with Buzz and Hornets in place of their title sponsor. The team had signed Repsol as fuel suppliers in 1998, a change which saw Mastercard adopt free space on the car's airbox, previously occupied by Total. Hewlett Packard were also added as team sponsors. 1998 would turn out to be a fruitful season, which yielded the team its first win when Damon Hill took victory at the incident filled Belgian Grand Prix. In 1999, the team produced the 199 chassis, designed by Mike Gascoigne, which earned the team third place in the Constructors' Championship, the team's best ever result. The team's drivers in 1999 were Damon Hill and Heinz Harold Frensen, who took two wins on his way to third in the drivers' standings. The team switched to Elf Fuels and Bridgestone Rubber for 1999, as Zepta, Pearl and PlayStation all signed on as team sponsors. In 2000, the team once again raced with their Hornet mascot for the EJ10, Deutsche Post had signed with the team, which saw the German Postal Service logo appearing on the engine case and monocoque, whilst Brother and Intercond were seen on the sides of the rear wing. In 2001, the team adopted a shark as its mascot, which glared menacingly on the sides of the nose cone of the Honda-powered EJ11, whilst the black portions of the livery were made to resemble shark fins. The team had signed a league of smaller sponsors, such as Infinon, Puma and Danzas, whilst DHL, a subdivision of Deutsche Post, was first seen in the car, appearing on the sides of the rear wing. The team also adopted an American flag upon the car's engine case for the United States Grand Prix, in memory of the victims of September 11. In 2002, the team switched to Liquid Molly lubricants for the EJ12, the first Jordan car to go without any sort of animal-themed livery since 1996. Benson and Hedges began to scale back their involvement with the team, which saw DHL acquire prominent space on the car's side pods. IT company Demovo first joined the team in 2002, seen on the sides of the front wings. The team coined the phrase, be on edge, in place of Benson and Hedges in tobacco banned countries. 2002 though would be the final season in which Jordan ran with Honda Power. For 2003, Benson and Hedges returned to the side pods on the now Cosworth powered EJ13. The EJ13 featured a much more plain livery than seen in previous seasons, which was reflective of Jordan's financial position. In a rain-affected race at Interlagos, Giancarlo Fisichella would claim the team's final victory. The EJ14, produced for 2004, again featured a plain livery, along with a fluctuating list of sponsors. Names such as Trust, GameTrack, Fard, and Royal Plastics all appeared on the car, along with another of Imperial Tobacco's cigarette brands, Sobrain. The team ran with Lazarus on the side of its car, hoping to invoke a comeback from the dead. Sadly, this was not to be the case, as in early 2005, Eddie Jordan sold his team to the Midland Group. And so, the 2005 season would see Jordan operating as a Formula 1 constructor for the final time, albeit on name value only. The team ran with Toyota engines and their distinctive yellow and black team livery for the EJ15, which again promoted Sabrain cigarettes, 
as well as Indian automotive company Tata, which was seen on the car's airbox. And so Formula One said goodbye to one of its most successful teams of modern times, a team renowned for its bright and eccentric team liveries, as well as a team that is respected for bringing a raft of younger talent into the sport. Jordan, along with their charismatic team leader, will always retain a special place in the hearts and minds of Formula One fans throughout the world.